Hello students, uh, welcome to this part uh, of the experiment in which we have already discussed uh, how to find the fiber losses in uh, an optical fiber. So we are now in the physics laboratory, dark room of the physics laboratory. I have already set up the equipment and uh, I am joined today with uh, two of our students uh, that is uh, Ame and Gurmukh of IT branch and I am also joined with Dr. Nandini uh, Sharma. And uh, we will be now doing the experiment. Let me just show you that uh, this is the main and this main with this main we have this helium neon laser and that this helium neon laser is placed on a jack. The position of this uh, helium neon laser can be adjusted with the help of a jack. You can see if I touch it, this is a converging lens. So parallel beam of light when it passes through this lens it will converge to its focus. The focal length of this lens is approximately 3 cm and we have placed it at 3 cm and this light is entering in the optical fiber. Now this, this black optical fiber, its length is 25 cm. So kindly I would now request Gurmukh Singh to write that the length of this optical fiber L1 is 25 cm. Uh, Gurmukh Singh, please record this length L1, length of the first fiber. L1 is equal to 25 centimeter. Okay, now <coughs> L1 is equal to 25 centimeter. Now this light is entering in the optical fiber at this point and, uh, and it is coming out uh, from the other end of the fiber and this, uh, is, uh, this light is now being received by a photocell. The photocell is connected to a voltmeter. Uh, which I have made, I have made this voltmeter, millivoltmeter using this uh, 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 multimeter meter. Now you can see that the output voltage of this fiber is actually V1. At 25 centimeter, the optical power is coming out of the fiber and this uh, is uh, now being received by the photocell. The photocell is generating a DC voltage signal and that DC voltage signal is uh, giving me value 209 millivolt. So I would request Gurmukh Singh to note down this reading. V1 is equal to 209. V1 is equal to 209. Uh, it is changing, it is slightly fluctuating, it is because of the fact that uh, this table is uh, uh, vibrating uh, and uh, because of that uh, some settings may change. So now this reading is again stable at 209 volt. Now I will uh, stop for, uh, rather I will request Gurmukh Singh to please hold this uh, camera and I will now change this fiber. Now we have another piece of the fiber, so this fiber, this fiber it is similar fiber made by a similar company with the same parameters but its length is 100 centimeter that is 1 meter. So now I will replace this fiber with this fiber and we will find what will be the output voltage signal generated after uh, when the light has travelled through it uh, a distance of 1 meter. So now I am just uh, removing the fiber from first chuck and the second chuck. Now I am inserting the fiber in the output chuck. and this light will enter from here so since this length is large so I can take it slightly away because we will keep bending losses at optimum uh, we will not tell you what is the uh, what is the actual value of attenuation coefficient because it also includes losses due to bends and as you will change the bends the answers will be changing so so this light is now entering in the same fiber and output is coming from here and we will like to keep it as straight as we can and now I will put this fiber light into the photo sensor 
so while doing this we have to make sure that stray light does not fall in into it but because of the problem that i have to videograph it so i cannot switch off lights so these results will be just typical not the exact results another thing that you should know that for more sensitivity of the photo cell the light should preferably fall normally on the photo cell so you have to draw inclination so now okay now i have just fixed a second optical fiber the length of this fiber is uh, again 1 meter we have put the file uh, light into the fiber now what is going to happen please remember same light energy will be entering here this is our assumption because this coupling may not be perfect so because of that we you did not use single length of the fiber so this energy is entering here after 25 cm here somewhere here after 25 cm the voltage signal generated might be 209 millivolt now it will further decrease at it will it will travel further 75 cm so the output reading uh, the signal uh, um, voltage after 1 meter has been recorded now i would uh, advise uh, request gurumukh singh to please focus on this voltage reading so you can see it is 180 millivolt so uh, am i kina am i am i will note, note down the reading so the length l2 is uh, 1 meter or 100 cm and voltage v2 is 180 millivolt now we will make calculations i am going to switch off the circuit so ame will am um, store it so what we have done so this was something like this optical fiber was what we have done so this was some power was entering from here let us say it was p0 uh, let us say p00 and after 25 cm the power here is p0 and the light that is coming out of from here the power here is p the voltage signal generator here is v1 voltage signal generator here is v2 and uh, this length was l1 and this length is l2 L1 is actually 25 cm and L2 is actually 100 cm and the length of the fiber which we have used for calculating attenuation or fiber losses uh, is actually 100 minus 25 that is equal to 75 cm which